Scheduling posts on LinkedIn is pretty easy when you know how. And it's a good way of making sure content goes out every day, even when you're not directly logged into the platform. I write on LinkedIn most days and here's how it works. So log into LinkedIn in your desktop and have the post to hand in your clipboard or your writing app. Then click on start post, paste in the contents from your post, upload whatever imagery you have, and then simply click on the icon that says schedule for later. And then you're gonna pick a time and date when your audience or when your connections are online. Now, because LinkedIn is mostly used by people at work, I'd recommend picking lunchtime, the start of the working day or the end of the working day, depending on your time zone. And then when you're ready, simply click next, click schedule and you're done. It's that easy. The process is pretty similar on your mobile device. Just look for the same icon. But what if you want to go back and edit some of those scheduled posts because you thought of something new, there's a mistake or you just want to change them? Well, go back to start post and this time, instead of writing the post, click on the icon, click on view all scheduled posts and you can see a list of every post that you've got scheduled. And then if you click on the three dots, you can post now, you can modify your schedule or edit it. So a good way to use LinkedIn is actually to write all of your posts for the week and schedule them out. And then when you want to, you can log directly into LinkedIn and you can decide if you want to post them now and engage directly with your followers or you can modify your schedule. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to drag and drop the posts or see them on a type of visual calendar. If you want that type of advanced scheduling for your social media, you got to use a tool. Now, there are two different tools that I use and that I've featured in detail on the channel. So the first is Taplio. This is po popular with a lot of uh, LinkedIn influencers and a lot of LinkedIn creators. And it has some advanced scheduling features, which I do a deep dive into uh, on the channel. Now, it's not the cheapest social media tool out there, but it is worth using if you really want to focus on LinkedIn. That said, as much as I like Taplio, I'm actually using Buffer at the moment because I can repurpose LinkedIn content on other social media networks. And if I log go over to LinkedIn on the left-hand sidebar, I'm paying $5 per month per channel, by the way, so it is cheaper than Taplio. And if I click on the gear icon, you can see my schedule for the week. So I'm posting every day at lunchtime during the working week. And I can see these as a list that I can drag and drop. And I can also see them as a calendar. Now, my first preference is always to post directly in LinkedIn and then engage with people who comment on my post within the first hour or two. In other words, don't post and ghost. But sometimes things happen, I'm traveling or work comes up. So what I'll do is I'll write my post in Buffer and just leave it there. And if Buffer posts it, great. But if I'm sitting at my computer, I'll just take the content from Buffer and put it directly into LinkedIn. And there is, of course, a mobile app for Buffer as well, so I can do this on the go too. So that's how scheduling posts work within LinkedIn. The takeaway here is that it's easy to do. Find a schedule that works for you and for your audience and publish content consistently. And I have some other videos on the channel where I explain how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile and create content that resonates with your audience. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe.